Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2021 video tutorial. I want to do the turbo snail exercise now in AutoCAD. The last one in the series. So, let's have fun with AutoCAD. Okay, let's start with our helix. So let's go for draw and there it is, a helix. And the center should be at zero, zero. The base radius should be 117.5 and the top radius should be 140.5 and the eighth should be zero. Let's take a look what we've got here. Too many turns, so let's go to the properties of that helix and change the number of the turns to 0 0.875. That's more like it. Now I need a circle here, so I have to rotate my axis system around the x-axis. So go here, rotate by 90 degrees. And let's go for a circle, C for circle. Select that endpoint here, start point, and make it radius 10. So diameter would be 20. And then I need one here. So I need to rotate that axis system around the Y axis by 45 degrees. Let's take a look. That's not 45. That's minus 45. So let's go for minus 45 degrees. Yeah. And now I could draw another circle right there. And diameter would be 40. So let's go for 20 millimeter radius. Great. And now I could do a loft. So go for a loft. Select this profile. That profile. Right click, enter, go for a path. That would be the path. Okay. And let's check here. Make it normal to start and end section. Okay, great. Move that surface to a different layer, maybe this one. Now let's reset our work, or not our word coordinate system. And I need two circles. So go for a circle at zero, zero, column six. Radius maybe 20, and another one at 0, 0, column minus 6, again 20. And now I can slice that surface with those two objects. So go for solid slice. I want to slice this surface. Right click, right click with that object here, and I want to keep both sides. Repeat that command. Now select the lower part of that surface, right click, right click, plan object, right click, keep both sides. Let's take a look. This is one surface. So if I put this onto a different layer, just to make sure, maybe on so another surface layer, yeah. So I need to split this. So let's go for home, go for explode and split this surface here. Enter. And now remove that one. And this should be put onto the same layer as before, like that. Great. 
Okay, next I want to close that gap here. So maybe hide those circles, put them onto layer zero and hide layer zero. Then I want to go for a loft, therefore I need some lines, go for a line from endpoint here to endpoint there. Do the same on the other side, endpoint to endpoint. Now let's go for a loft. I want to use this line and that line as cross sections. Right click enter and I want to go for a path in this case, this one. And enter. Put that surface onto a different layer, of course on the surfaces layer. Now I need a blend between this edge and that edge, so I might hide this line and that line by putting them onto layer 0 again. Okay. Let's go for the blend. Select the first edge, right click, enter, select the second edge, right click, enter. Continuity, G1, G1, and the bulge magnitude. I could change this to 1 and 1. Looks more like this. Okay. I will need those edges, so I want to extract those edges. Let's make this one a surface. Let's put it on a different surface layer, on this one. And I need the edges of this one, so go for Extract Edges, Enter. And let's hide this, at least for the moment. Hide Objects, this one, Enter. And also I don't need this edge here and that edge. Now I want to do a loft and I want to go from this edge to that edge with those guides. So go for a loft, go for join multiple edges, that's only one edge, right click right click join multiple edges and select this edge, that one, this one and that one, right click and now go for enter guides, this would be one guide and that would be the second guide. Enter, let's take a look yeah, it looks pretty good. Nice. Let's put this one. Of course, it should be tangent. And it should be tangent here as well, just in case it's not. Check it here. Tangency. Yeah. Now let's put this one on to layer surfaces and please consider trimming that hidden one, that magenta one and do it just to the trimmed end of that surface. Now let's put this onto layer zero And those two guides, that spline and this spline here as well. Yep. Now in AutoCAD I can't do an arc which is tangent continuous to that spline. Not possible. I would have to convert this spline into a polyline. Therefore I want to 
move my axis system. Let's select it and move it maybe over here, maybe like this. Yeah, would be okay. Then align one axis with that center point here and then rotate it around the x-axis by 90 degrees which allows me to draw a circle over here so go for a circle at 0, 0 and radius should be 30 now I have to split that arc here so I want to do it with a trim command because the break command is not really helpful here. So let's go for a line from zero, zero in that direction, like that. Then go for an offset of maybe 14, one in this direction and one in that direction. I could delete this one here and now I want to trim so go for trim and I want to trim this here okay and of course this here as well okay now I want to redraw that circle, therefore I have to hide this one. Draw the same circle at 0, 0, radius 30. And now trim the other side. That's kind of odd. Enter. And let's bring back that circle. And now I can do a loft. Let's hide this one. Deactivate that gizmo, hide objects. And now I can do a loft from this to that edge or from this arc to that edge. So let's delete this one and that one. Now I need a loft and I might need a surface to make it sort of tangent. So let's go for a surface extrude. Select this one and that one. Right click, enter and let's just as support. Now I could hide the sketches and put this one onto a different layer. Let's go for that surface two layer. Let's hide that sketch. So I could hide all sketches. Why not? So make it the surface layer and hide the sketches. Let's maybe make this in a different color. So put this one onto that orange layer here, just to make it visible. Now let's go for a loft, right click, join multiple edges. I want to use this edge, right click. And again, join multiple edges. Right 
right click and right click enter and the continuity should be g1 and g1 yes and the botch magnitude maybe let's go for one and one and enter so that doesn't look like it should it should be more continuous so I could try a blend instead of that loft let's go for a blend and select this edge here right click enter and yeah these are multiple edges so I can't connect them therefore I have two first make a boolean operation so go for union this surface that one this one and that one right click now I can use a blend so select this edge right click enter and that edge right click enter continuity is of course g1 g1 yes and the bulge magnitude might be one and one and enter so this looks better that's more linear here and now I can do a loft so go for join multiple edges select this edge here right click right click again join multiple edges this edge over here that one right click right click enter and I want to go for guides right click join multiple edges this edge right click right click join multiple edges this one here right click right click enter looks pretty good and then I could hide those or even delete those because I don't need them anymore but let's hide them put them on layer zero okay and let's check this out could I go for here for that loft and make it let's take a look tangent tangent so let's take a look normal to all sections smooth fit that's okay and nothing more to do so I hope it's helpful and yeah of course I could bring back that here and now I'm done so I hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook captain page would be very nice of you I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.